Whoa, glory to God. Your cross is born for a moment. And he said, our, our, our light affliction is but for a moment. He said, but your crown is worn for eternity. You know, when Katrina was coming in, you know what I was doing? With my courage, I was behind that shield of faith. That pressure of fear was trying to get at me. I mean, I was behind that shield of faith. And I knew if I step out from on that shield of faith, man, I'm going to get blowed away. And I ain't going to lie. Sometimes you want to look behind. You hear all that trouble. Let me see if everything's okay. No, but get your head back underneath that shield. I mean, it was pressure. Fear is pressure. Fear is torment. The Bible said fear hath torment. But perfect love cast out. All fear. Do you know if we'd have had perfect love in the city of New Orleans, all those people in the Superdome would have been evacuated. All those people in the convention center would have been evacuated. No one would have been thought of. We've got a bunch of buses hanging around doing nothing. Well, we don't have any bus driver. I'm pretty sure they got some people in that convention center in that Superdome that can drive a bus. You can drive a car, you can drive a bus. You ought to see Kathy drive a truck. All you got to do is tell her, go shopping with it. She'll drive an 18 wheeler. <laughs> Don't give me these dumb excuses. Yeah, you might not have a, a bus driver, but they got people that can drive, they can drive a car. See, fear had torment. The suffering of saints seemed to be more severe than sinners. Yeah, it seems like it. You, but your cross is born for a moment, but your crown is worn for eternity. I mean, the three Hebrew children, the only ones that got burnt, thrown in the fire was three Jewish guys. But the top Jew showed up. Hallelujah. Ooh, Jesus. They said, we threw three in there. And they, uh, uh, one of them, there's another one that looked like he the son of God. Now, I call him my shack, your shack, and a bungalow. I think the Bible calls him Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Creflo Dollar calls him Shadrach, Meshach, and one bad Negro. That's what Creflo told him. I said, get down with your bad self there, Cref. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to God. You see, it seems severe, but do you know those boys became high positions in the government and Daniel became next to the king? Let me tell you all y'all, you may have lost a bunch of things, but you're about ready to be elevated. You're about ready. You've been through some severe things. You're about ready to be elevated. Elevate. Uh, I don't believe David won't mind and O'Reilly won't mind me using them as an example. D David, uh, it was my uh, pilot in my plane. Make a long story short, they went, uh, I think Brother Pichon took him down there and they walked about that far from the roof. Huh? Now, it was a rental roof. It's a rental apartment, but that, a rental house, but still you got stuff in there. And when you don't have it, well, you lose all that stuff. And all of a sudden, man, said, we don't have a bed. Somebody give them a bed. Boom. It start coming. Even Kathy opened up her heart. Can I say that? And, 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 and Kathy's always open up her heart, but she did something. She said, she called O'Reilly. She said, won't you come to my closet and go shopping? O'Reilly. I know it's in that closet. I bought everything in that closet. In fact, you got about five closets to go through here. She said, go shopping. That's a blessing. See, God's already started. So well, I hadn't seen nothing yet. You ain't dead yet. You're persecuted, but you're not forsaken. See, sometimes you think that won't make you think you're forsaken, but you're not. Now, when you understand what I'm saying here, this is called living on the other side. True thoughts of heaven. Think about it for a minute. True thoughts of heaven prevent exaggerated views of earthly sorrows. So when I see something tough that touches my heart, I start thinking about heaven. Let me help you, all you that have lost some things. You can't combat thoughts with thoughts. You have to combat thoughts with words. In other words, how many of you had to turn the television off? It got so heavy. Hold your hand up. And a lot of misinformation went out. 10,000 people dying. Come to find out, of course, one person dying is a tragedy, but it may not be nowhere. Who knows? They're already knowing that most of the people, everybody seems to be getting pretty close to being accounted for in some areas. One person said, some local official said there was 100 people died on that wharf. I, I read it, uh, they came on, they said no one died on that wharf. You know, these rumors go. But you notice that the commons had to cut it off. <sighs> you see, and it gets in your thought process, just can't understand it. So you know what I did? I said, I can't combat these thoughts with thoughts. So I must combat these thoughts with words. And I said to myself, Jesse! I'm not moved by what I see. 
I'm moved by what I believe. Greater is he who is in us. All of a sudden, my mind began to clear than he that is in the world. God has blessed me in the city, in the field, going in and going out. So I'm able to be a blessing. I'm ready to go to work. I'm ready to go do whatever I got to do. The word of the Lord said, I begin to, all of a sudden, those thoughts begin to disappear because I was combating them with words. Do you see that? So that's how you get rid of that forsaken uh, feeling on you. We're persecuted, but we're not forsaken. See, that's living on the other side. We're troubled, but we're not distressed. We're perplexed, we're not in despair. See, you're on the other side, you're not on this side. Then he says this, we are cast down, but not destroyed. I love it when people say, I'm coming back. What you got? Nothing. They got more than anyone that has something. Because they have the ability and the understanding that nothing can destroy them. You see, in our weaknesses, God's power is displayed. The Bible said, let the weak say, I'm strong. In our affliction, God's help is manifested. In our dying, the divine life is revealed. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to tell you something. Things ain't easy sometimes. I love what Martin Luther, the reformer, said. He said, counterfeits of money are burned, but falsifiers of God's word are canonized. That's a phenomenal statement. Falsifiers of God's word are canonized. Uh -uh. That's a theological juggler. I will not move off the word of God. So when you understand what I'm talking about here, we're troubled, yet we're not distressed. We're perplexed, we're not in despair. We're persecuted, but we're not forsaken. We cast down, but we're not destroyed. We're going to live on the other side of this thing. And we'll come back stronger than we ever did. And everywhere, in anything, spiritually, physically, and financially. You see what I'm saying? Now, everybody got enough sense to know the government can only do so much. They give you a debit card, but it only lasts an hour. Can you imagine people running to the store? <laughs> oh, it's an animal. Come on. Let me tell you how you live here. Let me tell you how I've done it. I live by my giving. And I don't care in the middle of a hurricane that it'll produce a 30, 60, and 100 fold. We live by faith and not by sight. We've learned to stand, believe, decree, and declare the word of the living God. I'm not saying it wasn't pressure. I'm not saying, brother, I didn't have thoughts in my mind. Oh, God, what are we going to do? That wasn't the issue. I was behind that shield of faith. And I want to tell you that fear and pressure was coming as strong as I've ever seen it. I've been able to pray a lot of these things away from us and take authority. And I thought, what is this? What's going on here? What's happening here? And when the Lord, how many times? Because Kathy said I could be a meteorologist. You know so much about the weather. Well, you got to understand your enemy. I've studied the devil more than I've studied the Apostle John. Why? Apostle John ain't going to hurt me. So if you know your enemy, you know how to defeat him. And I want to thank God. I'm going to say it publicly. We had a three-star general. What's his name? Honoree. I want to send him a fruit basket. I like somebody to make decisions. Well, when he came to town, it started cooking. Oh, did you notice? I believe he was black. Or was he? So don't tell me that black people are not worth something. You better thank God that somebody made a decision. I believe he's black. I don't care what color he is. I just like somebody said, do this, 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 this. But they went to moving. Yeah, I believe some people did some wrong things. Don't misunderstand me. But it's not a racism thing. It's a devil's thing. Hello, everybody. I'm Jesse DePlantis, and I'm so happy you're watching this video today. If you're enjoying our channel, please subscribe. You can hit the bell to get notifications as each new video is posted so you don't miss a single one. Then you share this video to your friends, your family, so they can be blessed by it. And I mean, as I said, they'll be funny, they'll be hilarious. And I promise you, if you watch it, by the end of it, you're going to feel good. Because I believe in bringing joy into people's lives. I mean that sincerely. And I tell people, say, does anything ever wipe that smile off your face? No. And thank God I got good teeth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So watch it and subscribe today. Thank you. And keep watching. You'll be blessed. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.